Hello everyone, this is Kate Pizza with another tutorial with PML and today we're going to take a look at the sounds from Ikai's remix of I Can Stop by Flux Pavilion. This whole sound is made in Serum. If you guys want to grab the presets, uh, they will be linked in the description. Anyways, I'm going to be making this sound from scratch, so if you guys want to make it with me, just follow my instructions. I will insert a new MIDI track and I will drag a Serum device onto this track. Let's just copy the MIDI information from this first track. Here are the notes, but I won't get deeper into which notes are these, because you can just uh, insert them into your program. Alright, so I'll just copy the MIDI file, and let's get into Serum. This is the default sound, the default preset of Serum. The basic melody. So this is going to be a lead sound, so let's crank the unison to 5. This is going to sound much better. It's detuned, so let's detune it a little bit less. And let's bring down the blend a little bit. Uh, let's turn up the gain, I'll turn down the volume here. And I will turn on the other oscillator and switch to DS sine triangle. And then I'll bring the voices to 5 as well here. I'll detune it a little bit less and I'll bring down the blend. Alright, let's now turn the filter. Uh, both of these sounds should go through the filter. And let's set the cutoff like this. And now let's hear what it sounds like. We are taking some low high frequencies out. So let's now turn on the filter for now and work on the attack and the release of these sounds. So let's bring up the attack here to 100 around and the release to something like 180. Let's automate the attack knob. Alright, let's leave it as it is now. I just automated the attack in here. And now let's map this envelope to the cutoff of the filter. Sounds alright to me. Let's leave the sound as this. And now let's go to the effects tab and turn on distortion. Uh, hard clip distortion and set it like this. Drive up and it should sound like this. A little bit more distorted sound and uh, let's turn on the chorus and turn the mix down a little bit so that it's just a little bit wider and what we could do now is we could turn on the EQ here but I'm not going to use this equalizer because it's not too precise I'll just throw a regular EQ8 onto this track and manipulate it here so let's set it as a bandpass filter I think this will do. Let's hear the sound. It's okay. And let's also bring the the octave of the first of the second oscillator up like this. That's what it should sound like. Alright, we've got the first track. Let's take a look at the second track. So I will just duplicate this track and let's edit the sound. So Mm, let's turn off the B oscillator and bring down the octave. It's just going to be a lower octave instrument, but also uh, a lead sound. So let's bring down the cutoff here and do it like this. Sounds fine to me. Let's turn off the chorus because we don't need it here. It sounds alright to me. Let's leave it as it is. And now let's hear both of these sounds. I'll just turn down the volume on the second track. Let's now duplicate this first track once again. And let's take a look at the serum device once again. This is going to be a white noise device, 
because the original sound uses a lot of white noise. So I just turned off both of these oscillators and turned on the noise oscillator. And let's set it as up white from analog. Let's uh, bring up the pitch and level. And let's turn off a um, high pass filter, high 12, and send the signal from the noise oscillator through the filter. And let's set the filter like this. And let's delete this modulator. It's okay. Uh, what we can do now is a cool thing. Let's EQ out the low frequencies. So let's make a pad sound now. Uh, let's insert a new MIDI track and let's copy uh, this MIDI file from the fifth track. I'll just quickly show you the MIDI notes if you want to input them yourself. So these are the chords. Let's uh, throw a new serum device here and it should sound like this. Uh, doesn't sound too good for now. So let's crank the unison, bring down the detune, the blend as well, and the same thing with the second oscillator. Bring down the blend and uh, one octave down, and let's set the filter like this. Signal from both of the oscillators. And let's um, also set the release to 150. And let's map the attack from here. And I will just copy the automation lines. The first track here. Sounds fine to me. One thing we can do now is we can turn on distortion and bring up the drive a little bit. And we can turn on chorus. And also a compressor, but I will just crank the gain. Alright, sounds fine. Uh, let's throw an EQ also in there. So just throw in an EQ. Now I'll just take off some of the very high end. So this is what it sounds like for now. We are pretty close, but we need some bass. So let's duplicate this track that we have and let's copy the MIDI information from this bass clip I have here and for the bass I will just quickly show you the MIDI information so we can input them into your DAW Alright, let's now bring it one octave up here and zero here. This oscillator to set to DS so and triangle. And let's bring down the cutoff. And also let's turn off both of these effects and let's get a filter and just EQ some more. So now I just turned off this uh, EQ8. 
This is pretty much what we are aiming at. Alright, let's now hear all of these sounds. I will just group them together into one group, change the color, and this is what we have. Alright, cool. One cool trick I did here was I threw an EQ 8 onto this whole group and I took out some of uh, these frequencies like this and brought up some of this and this already sounds cool and what I did now was I uh, duplicated this group with another EQ8 on there and what I did here was I turned the EQ8 to mid-side mode and I took all of the frequencies out here so just the sides and here I did the same thing but I took off the sides so this group is the sides and this group is the mid frequencies and, but what I did here was on the size frequencies I detuned all of the oscillators just a little bit more so like this and all of these as well this is the noise and here we can detune uh, the pad a lot more this is what it sounded like after I detuned it. You can even detune the pad more. And when I play both of these groups now, we've got a very cool uh, wide sound. And the sound on the this the sound on the sides is very detuned and wide and the sound in the middle is less detuned and it makes up this wide cool sound. It's pretty close, I think. Alright. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you would like to grab the presets from what I just made. Make sure to check out the link in the description. It was K-Pizza and I was remaking the main scene from Ikali's remix of Flux Pavilion's I Can Stop. See you in the next videos.